जय शिव ओम कारा बाजा हर शिव ओम कारा ब्रह्मा विश फेल अ स्ट्रॉन्ग कनेक्शन विद द गॉड्स विद शिव जी विद हनुमान जी यू आर द डिवोटी ऑफ हनुमान राइट हां शिव जी हनुमान जी हां शिव जी हनुमान जी तो हनुमान के बारे में कब जाना बिकॉज़ ऑफ नीम करोले बाबा हु इज माय गुरु एम एन अ हनुमान डिवोटी Uh, Neem Karoli Baba is the one of the reincarnations of Hanuman. Have you visited ever Neem Karoli Baba? I've been to Neem Karoli's uh, ashram four or five times now. Is there any special energy in uh, Neem Karoli Baba? Yeah, absolutely. Any time I'm there, I start crying instantly, just tears, but not sad tears, just very happy tears. Kenchi Dam, it's especially powerful because Neem Karoli Baba was a big Hanuman devotee. Shri Guru Charana Saro Chara Cha Nijam Mana Mukuru Sudare. So, if you don't mind, can you discuss something about your relationship? That he's your Indian guy, or he's your also Western? He's an Indian. Uh, Just a normal relationship, or you will get in the marriage in the future. Yeah, marriage in the future, marriage soon, I think. So why you choose this Hindu dad? Namaskar, dosto. My name is Pak Singh. You are watching Prime India. Dosto, Prime India. I am meeting you from many countries who have come to India. Those who have come to India, 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 who have come to इनकी स्टोरी ना काफ़ी अमेजिंग है अमेरिका से भारत आई है फिर हिंदू बनी है मंदिरों में जाती है अभी भारत के लड़के से शादी करने वाली है तो ये सारी बातें हमने इनसे की है तो आप इंटरव्यू को पूरा देखिए चलिए अब इनसे वार्तालाप शुरू करते हैं हेलो हाय क्या नाम है आपका मेरा नाम सियारा है कहाँ से हो आप मैं अच्छी हूँ आपके सर मैं ठीक हूँ फ्रॉम वेयर आर यू आई एम फ्रॉम अमेरिका और हिंदी कितनी आती है आप थोड़ा थोड़ा हिंदी जितनी कितनी आती लगभग क्या कितनी बातें कर लेते हाउ मच यू टॉक इन हिंदी Not much, because I'm learning. You are learning more every day. Okay. Tell me something about this journey, U.S. to India. I first came to India in January of 2022. I came US back. Yeah, I came for yoga teacher training. Uh, so I did yoga teacher training and fell in love with India when I came. You are saying something about Hinduism. Hinduism practice you are doing here. Yeah. So. I first discovered Sanatana Dharma philosophy when I was maybe 15 or 16 years old. Um and I felt very connected to the philosophy. Um but it wasn't until I came to India and started going to temples that I really felt a strong connection with the gods with Shiv ji with Hanuman ji. Basically you are a devotee of Hanuman, right? Ha, Shiv ji Hanuman ji ha. Shiv ji Hanuman ji. To Hanuman ke bare mein kab jana aapne? How do you know about Hanuman? because of Neem Karoli Baba who is my guru um and a Hanuman devotee people even say uh, Neem Karoli Baba is the one of the reincarnations of Hanuman have you visited even Neem Karoli Baba mm -hmm. i've been to Neem Karoli's uh, ashram four or five times now four or five times how did you know about Neem Karoli Neem Karoli ke bare mein kaise jana aapne uh through Ramdas who is an american neem karoli baba devotee he was a very big harvard professor in america he went to india and met neem karoli baba and from there he started going back to america and talking about neem karoli baba talking about the siddhis and neem karoli baba's leela and his teachings and through those lectures that he gave that's how i found out through watching these lectures and at first i just watched the ramdas lectures but i heard him talk about his guru his guru his guru and i was confused i was like guru what is this so that's when i decided to research about neem karoli baba and then once i started hearing the stories about him i just felt so connected to him is there any special energy in uh, neem karoli baba is th is there any special that you feel yeah absolutely any time i'm there i start crying instantly just tears but not sad tears just very happy tears blissful tears um and it has such a strong energy because so many people especially you know westerners came all the way from different countries to come and be there with him and learn about these things learn about indian culture about sanatana dharma and all these things so i think it holds a very potent energy and especially you know also as a westerner i can also feel connected to that as well दोस्तों ये कह रही है कि जब मैं पहली बार मंदिर में गई तो मेरे अपने आप खुशी से आंसू निकलने लगे सो डिड यू गेट एनी चेंजेस इन यूर पर्सनैलिटी आफ्टर विजिट टू द नीम कोली बाबा 
Yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like every time I've gone there, it's really helped bring me back to my path in any ways that I may have fallen off or if I started not doing good with things, it helps bring me back. So most of the people that uh, you know once i visited to the neem koli baba mm. also and uh, when i visited there i saw each and every tourist each and every devotee mm. reading hanuman chalisa oh, there yeah. and i always uh, read hanuman chalisa mm. but reading there that is a different level experience you know yeah. so tell me something about that you also read hanuman chalisa there mm. what is your experience Yes, I've read Hanuman Chalisa there. Kenshi Dam, it's especially powerful because Neem Karoli Baba was a big Hanuman devotee. And so when people are chanting it there, they're not only chanting it for Maharaji, but they're chanting it to also please Maharaji because they knew how much Maharaji loved Hanumanji. Do you remember Hanuman Chalisa? Yes, yeah. Shri Guru Charana Saro Charaja Nija Mana Mukuru Sudari Barano Ragu Bara Vimala Jasu Jodaya Kupala Chari Two more lines Buddhi Natanu Janake Sumaro Pavana Kumar Siaram Bala Buddhi Vidya De Humohi Harahu Kale Sabikar So you uh, remember this entire month? Yes, okay. pretty much. 99 percent. 99 percent. So when you read Hanuman Chalisa in normal place, in normal place, and when you read Hanuman Chalisa in Neem Kuruli Baba, is there any difference? Yeah, big difference. The energy in Kenchi Dam is so potent that it feels like, it feels like when I'm doing it there, it feels like Hanuman standing right in front of me and I'm doing it there. Whereas when I do it elsewhere, I feel the energy. But when I'm in Kenshi Dom, it's like he's like sitting right beside me and I'm reading it like to him directly. So you go to uh, Kenshi Dom frequently? Yeah, for, I've gone four or five times now. Um, I'm lucky that it's only about four or five hours from Rishikesh. So, and my boyfriend lives near there. His family home is there. So it's from Nenita? Uh, he's from uh, Kashipur. Uh -huh. So. दोस्तों ये कह रही है कि मैं ऋषिकेश जब से आयु मैं लगातार लगभग चार पांच बार अब तक नहीं कोई जा चुकी हूँ. So you told about your boyfriend. So if you don't mind, can you discuss something about your relationship? That he's an Indian guy or he's also Western? He's an Indian, um, and we met at my favorite cafe in here in Rishikesh. Okay. Um, and he's also a Neem Karoli Baba devotee. So that was the first connection we ever had. And when we first started dating, he said he could help me learn Hanuman Chalisa. So that was kind of like what started our relationship is, oh, I'll teach you Hanuman Chalisa. Now we've been dating for 1.5 years and I know Hanuman Chalisa for, now. For five years? 1.5. 1.5 okay, years. So uh, he's also a Hanuman devotee? Yes. It's just a normal relationship or you will get in the marriage in the future? Yeah, marriage in the future, marriage soon, I think. Best of luck to you. I visited in your Instagram profile and I saw there you also visit Badina temple, right? Mm -hmm. And so many other temples you visited. So do you like go to the temple? I do like going to the temple. I've After come India or before coming India you also like? After coming to India. Okay. Um, I was scared to go to any temples before I came to India because in my mind, I was worried it would be like church. Um, but then once I came to India and I had like my experience in the temple, that's when I was like, oh, this is different. This is amazing. amazing. So what is, you also visited within our, within our temple. What is the first thing you do inside the temple? I touch the floor, touch my heart to just acknowledge that I'm entering God's space. Um, I'll walk up, I'll do whatever prayers depending on, you know, who I'm visiting. Um, I'll of course bow down, I'll of course give offerings, whether it's money or fruit or, you know, something. Um, stand there, do my prayers, do my mantras. If there's a walk around, then I'll, you know, walk around three, six times or so. and. Spend some time there. Sometimes I'll sit for meditation. I bring my uh, japa malas a lot, so I'll do some japa. So just uh, absorbing the energy. Tell me something about your experience about Badrinath Dham, because we have a four dham in India, uh, and one is Badrinath, and you also visit there. So tell me something about Badrinath Dham. How was your feeling? How was your experience? Beautiful chaos. So many people, but yet such devotional and it's beautiful, the colors of it. I went during a cold season, so seeing the heat come up from the springs around it, you know, the area around it was just so beautiful. And then, you know, going inside the temple, it's just, 
it's a beautiful space, honestly, and and how it looks too. Like it's just very diverse and colorful. It looks like a, it looks like a a castle that a child colored with a, a bunch of different paints and colored crayons. It's a beautiful place. Yeah. In Badinath Dam, there is a kund of hot water, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you bought it? Not in the hot one. There's like a cold one too. I put my feet in the cold one. Yeah. You didn't bath in that hot water? No, I was with a group of people, so... You used to be a uh, Christian, and now you are going to be a Hindu. So why you choose this Hindu dharma? What's special is that there's so many different ways to practice. Um, of course, there's core believings and core ideas, but, you know, every state, every family has different rituals, and I love the diversity within it. Um, it's... There's rules, but it's not like Abrahamic religions where it's like, if you don't do this, you'll go to hell. It's like, you should do this. I think it's just a very beautiful concept. And throughout my whole life, I've seen the connection with Sanatana Dharma. And so now to be able to really understand and live it, it's a blessing. How you see the role of Hanuman in Ramayana? Because you are a Hanuman devotee, you also watch Ramayana. So how you see the role of Hanuman in Ramayana? To be selfless and to do your duty to what you believe and what you love. So, you know, for, for Hanuman, it was Ramji. He would do anything for him, um, anything he was asked without even questioning. So I believe in that kind of devotional and, you know, doing these services for others. So that would be what I mainly get from him. Not only strength, but also the love, the pure love to I love this being, so I want to serve them. What do you think uh, about the power of Hanuman? Very strong power. Hanuman Chalisa is, is very it's supreme. For you. Yeah, absolutely. Like during hard times, that's when I'll do Hanuman Chalisa because I know that it can help give me strength and give me courage. Like these aspects of Hanuman are very strong for me as well. You were saying something about Sivratri. So do you celebrate Sivratri too? Yes. Yes. What do you do special in Sivratri? Um, the past like two years since coming to India, I'll stay up late and do my puja, my Shiva Arti, all these things. Um, but this year, since I'm in India, I'm going to Sadhguru's place for the big Mahashivratri event that they have every year in South India. South India. Yeah, it's like... You are going just to celebrate Shiv Shivratri. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm very excited. I've been watching Sadhguru's celebration for several years. Even before I understood the meaning, I would stay up because in India it's at night, so America the Live is during the day. I would have my phone at work and I would be watching the celebration and be so intrigued. And so I've always wanted to see it in person and this year I finally get to see it. <laughs> Best of journey. And you also said that you also do Siv Arti. Do you know any Arti? Shivarti, yeah. Yes, would you like to see? Jai Shiva Omkara, Bajahara Shiva Omkara, Brahma Vishnu Sada Shiva, Ardahangi Dara, Om Jai Shiva Omkara. Nice. And uh, one more thing I get from your Instagram profile that uh, you are we wearing different kind of dresses. Sometimes you are wearing Indian dress like suit, like gopi dress, like sari, and sometimes you are wearing western type dress like very short dress so which dress you like most indian dresses indian dress you like the most yeah 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 um i feel like a princess when i wear indian dresses um but in the west if i tried to wear these things people would make fun of me or s say i'm like a bad person because i'm taking someone else's culture there's this concept that you shouldn't wear and do things from other people's cultures especially in america um which is funny because then when I come to India, Indian people are like, please wear this. We want you to wear this. We like when you wear this. So when I'm in America, I have to tone down the Indian dress. But then when I'm in India, I'm like, let's go. Indian. Thank you so much, Mataji. And uh, your story is very nice, very interesting, especially about Hanmanji and Neem Kroli. Mm. Tell me when will you learn Hindi? Whenever you will learn, I will come again and I will take your interview in Hindi. Tell me when will you learn Hindi? <laughs> Within the next six months, I say. In next six months, uh, you will learn Hindi that we can talk in Hindi. I believe so, yes. Okay. God, it's God willing. Okay, so after six months, I will come again with the same questions, with the same story, because okay. your story is amazing and I want to cover this in Hindi. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you.
दोस्तों आपको इनकी स्टोरी कैसी लगी ये अमेरिका की है भारत आई है अब हिंदू बनने जा रही है हनुमान जी की बहुत बड़ी भक्त है नीम को ही रेगुलर जाते रहते हैं तो थैंक यू सो मच आपको इनकी स्टोरी अच्छी लगी हो तो इनको शेयर कीजिएगा इनके बारे में कमेंट में विचार जो लिखे बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद